Let's get this movie started. We've done a lot of talking. We've been waiting for a little bit. So Chicago, please make some noise and round of applause for the movie Fear. Let's get it. Welcome. Y'all ready? It's going down. Ladies. Is she the new? Is she the truth? Or is it false? Our lashes slip lost. Akeisha Lockhart here for She's Got a Show, and I am so very honored and excited to be in the theater with these two guys. We just got done watching the highly anticipated horror film Fear. And with me right now is cast member Joseph Sakura and director and producer Dion Taylor. And I want to just say to you all, as a black female independent media owner, I own my own media outlet, to have you all here with me right now means the world to me. And the fact that the people behind the scenes, they reached out to me and personally invited me not only to come to the screening, but interview you all. So I just want to say, that it is incredible what you all are doing for media outlets like myself that are still on the rise. So yeah. thank you for giving us the time. Of course. I really, really yeah. appreciate it. My pleasure. So yeah. how are you And all? you're good with Chris Lofton. Oh, right, yeah. I am. Lambo, <laughs> AKA. Yeah. Lambo. Yeah. Lambo. Yeah. Lambo. <laughs> Lambo. <laughs> you gotta know, you gotta know people. Yeah. So how are you all feeling? Great. Feel yeah, good. super excited. We had a, a big screening uh, yesterday at the Directors Guild of America for the first advanced screening of the movie Fear, yes. uh, which was to over 700 people, packed house, incredible reception. Um, we jumped uh, right to Chicago, got up uh, 6 a.m., jumped on the 5 plane, 5 a.m., earlier maybe I was a little late. And then uh, we're going to Miami, we're gonna hit New York, we're gonna hit uh, Houston and Atlanta, just to spread the word. Um, what has always worked for Dion is uh, a grassroots, uh, get the ball, get that inertia going and get that word of mouth because what Dion has been able to accomplish was not only the first film ever completed during COVID, mm. without rules. Dion and his partner Roxanne event do not take enough credit for this. This is before the CDC had rules that they were giving you, exact rules that they definitely had down pat. D they, they gave Dion and Roxanne the arduous task of saying, they, Dion said, can we make a movie? And they said, we don't know. And Dion said, <laughs> okay, well, let me help you guys out. And so what they did, what Dion and Roxanne did, is they came up with a list of rules and uh, uh, what that we would all follow before the CDC had a standard set of rules that they issued to the United States of America. That's crazy. And what enough. Dion and Roxanne did was they made these rules up. The CDC said okay. They brought them to the unions, the WGA, the PGA, yep. the SAG, AFTRA, and then SAG, they all wrote off on them and they said, we sign off them. Now you have to ask all of our members. So that's the whole cast, the whole crew. Everybody signed off. This is pre-testing. This is when this thing touched your brain up yep. there, went up there. And then after this happened, they got calls from who? NBC, yep. big studios. What did you guys do? How did you do this? It started there. So this is an incredible accomplishment. You got to see today that through fear, one of the things that puts out fear is trust, love, and perseverance, mm. not to mention faith. Faith that's over right. everything. Yeah. So, Fear. Joseph, Please. I love that, and that's a perfect setup for my question for Dion. What was the genesis? And I want to hear from you. What was the genesis? How did you come up with Fear, the concept of the, of the film? Uh, just We were just, at the time, in that moment, living in fear. Um, and just as an artist, like, for me, I know my, my method has always been... Um, if something something grabs me and attracts me, I, I normally, if it stays with me for more than a week, then it's something that I'm brewing, I'm manifesting in my head. Um, and most of the films that I've made have been that way. So, and I think about traffic, I think about, like, it was like two, three weeks situation for me. I kept being like, damn, I just went down the rabbit hole one day, like, damn, how's that working? Where's that? Then I ended up writing that. Um, this was great because I was sitting at home, like everybody else in the world, and I was just like, scared. You know, and I was like, man, I wonder, originally it was titled Don't Fear. And um, it was a moment in time where I was just like, man, I wonder if we could do something that's based around these people that go to this one location and they're faced with their, their wildest and craziest and scariest fears. And that's how it started. 
And uh, here we are now, man, a couple years later, and I'm sitting there still going like, wow, watching him on screen. It's like yesterday, man, I remember him getting out the car at my house and being like, yo, you're here! And we was like screaming and hugging and and then just to see the results here, man, it's just it's every just the second night where I'm going like, wow, it's crazy. So, Joseph, I have a fun fact for you. Mm -hmm. Fun You're, fact? Fun fact. Do you guys play music on the show when you say that? We will. Okay. We fun, have to now. Fun fact. We have to. Do you have the words? Like, I'm, I'm seeing, like, red, like, <laughs> fun fact. Yeah. yeah. Fun fact. Yeah. Right there. It's going to be right there where you just push your hand up. Where you just push, Right there. Right there. There it is. So this is a fun fact, right? Your character, Tommy, is one of my all-time favorite characters in that. film, television. Like, I appreciate this. Like, really, really yeah, do. Yeah. And something that I know that actors will say, it is challenging sometimes when they have, they play such an iconic character, and then everyone thinks of them as that character, no matter what other roles they take on. Mm -hmm. So for you, what are some of the challenges that you face when you take on other roles when everyone just sees you as Tommy? I come from the theater, darling. Um, and so I uh, have had the luxury of uh, <laughs> playing a lot of different characters uh, throughout my life, through my youth for many, many years. So I attack every role the same way. I try to make it as human as possible, make the biggest decisions as possible. And then certainly when you're doing a, 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 a film, you have, you, you either have to take the film over as an actor, which is 99.9% .9 of the time a mistake. I've seen it work before. Yeah, right. But you have to have trust and faith in somebody, and I find that trust and faith in Dion. We've now worked together four times. Uh, we work well together because um, we respect each other. Respect is a, a huge uh, um, amount for me. Um, I, I know that in film, traditionally, I mean, you have the stories of the yeah. Palma not respecting actors necessarily, yeah. calling them meat puppets and all that stuff. Mm. But then you have wonderful directors that I've had the luxury of working with like Martin Scorsese um, and I would put Dion in that same visionary cinematic passionate respects the actors and knows what every single person's job is on the set Dion could do any job on a set Wow um, and to me anybody who has that much respect uh, uh, passion for cinema and uh, creation is uh, the community I want to keep close to me so um, uh, he gave me the luxury of saying, not only do I think you can do this role, you have to do this other role, and I'm going to help you, and we're going to get there. And we kind of tailored a little towards what I like, yep. history and some of that stuff. He even kind of changed what kind of writing Rom did, and we talked about it. We got to create this character together. So uh, regardless of uh, this film, even though I think you're all going to love it, is that um, uh, I'm proud of the film, um, and I had a good time doing it. So something that I really love that my viewers get when they come to All I Need Is One Mike, a.k.a. She's Got a Show as well, and see the, watch my conversations that I have, because I like to say conversations because that's what we're doing. They like exclusive, the exclusiveness of it all. So you all have been doing press hard to promote the movie, which is fantastic. But can you all give me collectively or each one story of like a behind the scene moment or something. So when they come here and see our interview, it's so much different than everyone else's. So something you all haven't shared with anyone else about maybe a story with the cast or just something again behind the scenes and the making that no one knows. Cause you all made this movie in 18 days, right? 15. Total. 15. I mean, we shot for okay. 15 or 16 days. So that was something that I found out. But what is something else that you haven't said to anyone else in any other interview that's exclusive here on She's Got a Show? I think depending on how fast you get this interview out, I can tell you that I broke my kneecap during, during, during this uh, film. Wow. And that I filmed for half of the time. Eight days I had a broken kneecap that um, uh, we, we, had to, we had to shoot around it and cut around it. I had to be on Motrin and, uh, you know, Motrin and two shots of vodka at the end of the night seemed to be the recipe. And uh, get to try to get some sleep. It was, but that, man, it was tough. By the end, I was tired. By the end yeah. days, at the end days, I'm going to leave that, that story out, but I, at the end days, I was, <laughs> I was tired. I was tired. No, but that whole last sequence, like the end of the film, um, all the action sequence stuff that he, that he does at the end of the movie, he did with a broken kneecap, which is pretty crazy. So he's actually on set with a cane uh, in between takes and then just like acting as if he's not hurt while we're filming, uh, which was crazy. Um, I'm like, do you think you could run up the stairs one more time? I'm like, yeah, yeah I think I, I, just got, one more, I got one more left. Yeah, because you know what? Wow. We, because we can never go back. Yeah. 
So part that's of, an exclusive. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And you guys can't say this to anyone else now. So if no. anyone else asks that question, don't give them our I'm gym because they won't come here. No. Okay, go. I want another one. You we got time. We got time. You want one more nugget? We got time. You see it? Yeah, we got time. It's skin dirty. Uh, oh wow! Just, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. We're cutting that part. Okay. No. Uh, here's another uh, <laughs> bonus. So uh, the role of Ti. Um, originally, I had called Ti to play the part, and I could not catch up with Ti. And um, I ended up FaceTiming Snoop, and Snoop picked up. And uh, me and Joe was like, "Oh, Snoop, what up, man?" And we started talking. He's a really good friend of mine, and I pitched him the movie. And he was like, where I got to be? And I was like, you got to come down here. So he was like, all right, I'm in. So Snoop was going to be Tip. Wow. And I was. Yeah, he's f- rewriting the role. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do Snoop. this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to change. It's going to be crazy because I can make Snoop be like this. So it would have been a completely different character. Mm. But then, um, like, about three days before we got ready to shoot, Snoop Card was like, or he couldn't do it because he had to actually do some type of Zoom thing for the whatever he was doing. And I was like, damn, we lost Snoop. And the phone rang and it was T.I. And he was like, where we at, man? <laughs> and I act like nothing ever happened. Wow. So that's the exclusive story. So we had a moment right before they sat down where you were literally talking about T.I. and he called you. So this is just a thing. Like Wasn't maybe he'll call during this interview if no, we keep you, talking about him. No, you know what that is? What is that? That is, that is, um, that is making sure that your energy is open to the universe. So what happens is... And it's something I'm learning right now and studying. But what happens is when you are feeling something or manifesting something, the reality is you can feel that or you could push that back out. So I'm sitting here in a real candid, beautiful conversation with this young man. And prior to me talking to him and meeting him, who has this injury, right when I came in, it was like T.I. is mentoring him. Mm. So I went into the relationship conversation thinking about T.I., and opened with T.I., and literally the phone rang on FaceTime and it was T.I. Now, mm-hmm. I know that sounds crazy. This might be too no, deep. No, I watched this, it. I watched it happen. happens to me all the time. Okay. So I just feel like, and that's how this happened, this movie. Mm-hmm. I called him, and I said, I have an idea for a movie. Literally. Mm-hmm. This should sound crazy now. <laughs> on a phone, and I pitched him for an hour on the phone this entire movie. And I had to, like, be there visually to tell him that. And then he understood that, received that, and got in the car and came to me. And this is what we manifested. So I'm not giving anything away, but I love the part where he's, like, cross the T, dot the I. I caught that. I caught that. I caught that. (laughs) That Okay. So we all have very serious fears that pretty much are universal. It doesn't matter who you are. And I don't. I don't want to get on that, go down that road, but what's a funny or fun fear that you all have? Just one. Oh, he has a great one. What's Tell one? Him. My funny Each. fear. <laughs> a fun fear or a fun fear. He has a great one. Tell him the one. Oh, my God. Tell him the so one. So I'm afraid of pissing off animals because I love animals so much. And they had a snake at the um, at the uh, uh, At the fear premiere. thing. That was the crazy. Wow. Like, do you want to hold this thing? This snake is not going to bite anybody or do anything. But I felt like... I didn't want to annoy this poor snake. I didn't want to make him upset. Uh, um, and then I found out it was a her, so the snake was upset anyway. So I couldn't win. Okay. Um, so I live, I live, um, I live up near Tahoe, and um, one of my funniest, biggest fears that I always am a little nervous about that has happened to me a few times is if a bird gets into the house. Mm. I know that's super weird, but I've had a few birds get into my home with my kids Ooh. and they're telling me go get it okay. and I'm going <laughs> and I'm going I'm going to figure it out and then we had one moment right we was in uh, what was we at Hawa- uh, Mexico? Mexico and the bat got in the house Oh, I was about to say, another exclusive would be the bat got in our lodge oh, man. and landed Listen on that. Sean anything that could move around like that in a house place. boy so I just had to figure out how to open doors and close other doors and swing, throw brooms and run. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. So that is a fear of mine. Like, I don't want nothing that could fly get in the house. Okay. Yeah. So these men, they have to get going. So yeah. I don't want to take any more of their time. But you can't leave without telling everyone when the movie drops and where they can see it. Can someone do that? Well, I can tell you that you need to go to fear.movie mm-hmm. to get it, tickets straight away. And then when you tweet about it after you see it, um, use the hashtag face your fear. Nice. And the movie comes out January 27th, only in movie theaters. 
only in movie theaters. Only in movie theaters. It's not on uh, streaming. It's not on Netflix and chill. It's not on Hulu and Boo Boo, whatever. All the slogans is at the movie theater. Go see it January 27th and support it, man. And go watch the performance that Joe Secura has in the movie. It's phenomenal. And since we're in Chicago, I'll see Go see us at the movies. So for She's Got a Show, you all know who I am. I'm Akeisha Lockhart. Who are you all? I'm Deion Taylor. I'm Joseph Sikora. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Welcome. Y'all ready? It's going down. Ladies. She's got a show.